So I got two options and these were buy one, get one free. So it was worth it. Happy Friday, y'all. It is so wet and so gloomy outside because it's been storming for the past two days, but I have errands to run as I always do on Friday. So I'm gonna go do that. <laughs> I'm gonna go get my nails done. Freaking finally. First of all, I did not love this set. It's one of my least favorite sets that I've ever gotten. Not because of my nail tech, just because of me, because I chose the designs. It just did not come together the way I imagined. Also, this nail broke the other day, which is like, why would you do that? Um, and I've also had these in for like three weeks, which is pretty long for me. So I've just been staring at them and the more I stare at them, the more I dislike them. So I'm getting them redone. Technically, this will be my birthday set because my birthday is on Tuesday. Um, but I also am going on a work trip literally right after my birthday. So I'm really getting them to look appropriate for the work trip and not for my birthday. When I go to Atlanta later in the month, that's when I'll get my like birthday set. That's gonna be like very Leo-ish. This one's gonna be a lot more chill, um, which is fine because chill sets are fine too sometimes. And I've really been in this space with my nails where like, I don't wanna do the most. I kinda just wanna do things that like I know I love. I don't wanna have to find new designs. I'm like over all designs. I don't love any designs I'm seeing. I think I'm going through a phase. The nails will always wanna be long. But the designs might be a little bit more chill moving forward. Is this 32? This is life I'm living. I don't know. Um, and then I just have to like, there's a mall right next to my nail salon. Gotta go in there and pick up a few things. I really wanna go into TJ Maxx to see if I can find um, this like skull rug that I saw on TikTok from their like Halloween collection. I'm just worried because this is like a smaller TJ Maxx. So I don't know how much they're really gonna have in there, but I'm going to go look. Um, need to go to the hair store just for eyebrow pencils. That's the only thing I need to get in the hair store. Every time I go into the goddamn hair store, I spend so much money on the ceremony. The only thing I need at hair store is eyebrow pencils. I need like six of them. And that's gonna last me for the next couple months. And then I also need to go pick up something really special from Columbia Heights, but I don't wanna talk about it until I get it because I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna talk to y'all and it's like a full story that I have to do. Uh, but I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing. Just putting a little summer Fridays on my lip. This is the vanilla beige. That's, that's the, type, that's the uh, flavor I was talking about. I'm just gonna use it till it's gone because I paid for it, but then I'm gonna go back to my the one that I prefer, vanilla, okay? Um, and so for my hair, because of the, of the rain, I decided to just put a hat on. I do the viral blowout overnight curl method, um, which I'm obsessed with, okay? I'm obsessed with that method. It is chef's kiss. The only thing I do different is obviously I do not wet my hair every night because of bundles. I instead use my Shark Plus Out to curl my hair and then put the rollers in. It gives me the best results. Obviously, that makes it heat. It's not heatless. There's definitely heat, but it saves me so much time in the morning time. And that's all I care about. Okay, you guys, I don't know how I'm gonna do fit checks yet. Like I gotta figure out like where I can put my camera in my apartment so I can see my whole fit. But this is gonna just work for now because my dad just mounted this mirror for me. But my hat is my girlfriend's. It says LA at the front. Um, my crop top is from Skims. I'm obsessed with all of Skims basic like shirts and stuff. I love them. My leggings are from Old Navy. I'm wearing my Asics and I'm bringing my Neverfull. I feel very cute, very sporty, very chill, very cute. Perfect for running errands.
you guys. I am done running my errands. I ate a quick salad because I was starving. But I'm still getting sushi later. And I also touched my hair up because the rain absolutely ruined it and changed my shirt because I'm incapable of wearing a white t-shirt for the entire day. I'm also in my little nook area. What do you guys think about this to film sometimes? I actually think I like it. I mean, I could bring my bigger light to like really brighten my face. Like if I'm doing like a full YouTube video, but for vlogs, I'm just like chatting with you guys. I think this is a vibe and I really sit here to make content. Most of my TikToks are made with me either sitting down in the chair or on the arm of the chair. Cause like you usually see my TV behind me and my TikToks because this is where I'm sitting because it's a lot of like really good natural light right here. So I think this is a vibe. Um, okay, let me show you guys my nails. This is my nails. I love them so much. They were exactly what I asked for. And my nail tech ended up having to mix colors together to get this exact brown. But I'm obsessed. Um, I like to go a little more neutral on my nail designs when I go on work trips because sometimes I'm like running into the CEO, the CFO, the COO, the president of the company like that I work for. And I just feel like having neon nail with skulls on them, maybe not the most appropriate choice for a work trip. So these are perfect. And then, like I said, I'm going to get my birthday birthday nails when I go to Atlanta, which will probably be black and skulls. Um, and then I really, end, I ended up not getting anything after I left the nail salon. The only thing I got from the mall was the eyebrow pencils I needed from the hair store. And I walked into like six stores and I just like, nothing was worth me spending money on. I did find the Halloween decorations I was looking for, not in the TJ Maxx, but the Marshalls, because they basically sell the same thing. But the rug that I wanted was just like three skulls all next to each other. It was an outdoor rug and it was like an outdoor rug, like it was super rough on your feet like it just was not giving i can make this work in my apartment and i'm not someone who puts mats outside of her apartment door so i'm not passing on that one they also had another skull rug it was skulls all across the rug with a black background but it was so long it was like a runner rug and i just like don't have really floor space for it the only place that it could have made sense for it was underneath my table but i love that i can move my table when i need to sweep and mop underneath there so i didn't really want to add a rug on the ground instead so i ended up not getting any of the rugs they had some really cute like halloween pillows like skulls and ghosts and things of that nature but i already have two really big pillows and two really small pillows on my couch and i don't want a pillow on this couch because i sit in it so much it just will be in the way so i ended up not getting any of the halloween decorations that i was but i did get an early birthday present for myself but before i show you guys that um i got another package from fashion nova that i figured i would open up with you all if you watch my video about how i'm looking to redefine my everyday and works out you know a part of that process is me buying a whole bunch of new clothes which i do anyways but particularly buying graphic tees that are more fitted because as you can see a lot of my graphic tees are oversized because i usually wear them when i'm going out hosting and like attending parties now i want more fitted ones that i can wear to the office and like just running errands um and so i went on fashion Nova because i had a gift card and i bought a whole bunch of graphic tees from the men's section they were having a huge sale some graphic tees were only like nine ten dollars but then i realized after i bought the graphic tees that the extra larges would probably still be too big because the one i happened to be wearing that day was a large so i ended up going back and rebuying all of them in a large but i still have the extra larges just in case there are some that fit that I fit better as an extra large but the reality is, is like i think i'm bigger than i am and i think larges look perfectly fine so i'm just going to show you guys all of the ones I got really quickly. Um, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six graphic tees. And these are all larges, like I was saying. So this is the first one. It just is like, it says Los Angeles on it and it has this cute LA in the back. It's so cute. And let me tell you something. This looks so tiny to me. But again, it looks tiny because like this shirt right here, I'm pretty sure this is either 2XL or 3XL. And it only fits the way it does because I wear this all the time and wash it all the time. It's probably shrunk a little bit. But like, this looks tiny to me. But I know it looks tiny to me because I'm used to like super big shirts. But it's so cute. 
Um, and I could wear that to work. That's why I like it. I try to get shirts that I could wear to work that were appropriate to be worn at work. Um, and then the next one I got was this one. It says Heartbreaker and it has just like a little baby angel on it. I thought that was so cute. Um, this one looks uh, like a good size. Like I think this will fit me perfectly. It doesn't look as small as the other one, but I think that gray one might have a shortcut to it, which is also fine because I want to be able to tuck these into my work pants and just the oversized tees just don't look good. They just, it looks, it looks baggy. I'm not trying to look baggy. Uh, this is the next, this piece, y'all, this piece of plastic won't come off me, my finger. Okay. This is the next one. Um, I don't know what this says. Oh, it says heartless and it's like a butterfly. I don't know. I actually like don't love this one as much as I thought I did when I saw it on the website. Um, I don't think I could wear, I don't know if I would wear this to work. I guess it's fine. It's like $8. So I don't think it's worth sending back, but uh, this is the next one I got. I love fashion all the graphic tees. I really do. But after this, I'm done. Like, I'm not buying any more graphic tees after this. I don't need any more. I actually think I'm going to get rid of some of the older ones. Uh, so this is this one. It says Black Excellence. I love this shirt. Again, that looks so tiny to me. Um, so I'm definitely going to try on both this large and the extra large to see which one fits me the best. But I love this. And I definitely will be wearing that to work. Definitely. Uh, then I got this sync one because I watched a Dirty Pop documentary on Netflix and I did not realize that the guy who founded Backstreet Boys also founded NSYNC within like a year of each other. I definitely thought that back, the Backstreet Boys were out. Oh, I'm sorry, this is the Backstreet Boys t-shirt. But I definitely thought they were out much longer than NSYNC. So looks like that. It's cute. Little graphic tee. Also something that will wear to work, but I think I might like the extra large on this. Um, we'll see. I'm gonna try it on first before I decide. And then the last one I got was this one. And it is so cute. It's like dogs and it says proper. Oh, proper prosperity. Yeah. It reminds me of there was like a streetwear brand that used to have a similar type of design. I can't remember. I can't think of I can't think of what it is, um, but it's very similar. I love this one. So my birthday is on Tuesday and the goal of my birthday this year was to be pretty chill and like how is that possible because I'm Leo but there wasn't really any material things that I really wanted for myself this year or to ask of anyone else this year um, just because I feel like I'm highly blessed and favored and I basically have everything that I want. I wasn't really going to get myself anything like I am going to Atlanta but when it comes to that trip I haven't really paid for anything. My job gave me a Airbnb gift card for my graduation present so I used that to cover my part of the house that we're getting while we're staying there. My girlfriend bought my plane ticket and upgraded me to first class as a part of my birthday present. Um, I'm going as a influencer, so my entry to all the parties are free. Uh, so like, I, I'm not really coming out of pocket um, for that trip at all. I, and a lot of the outfits that I'm going to be wearing, I already own. So it's just kind of like, I, I just wasn't planning to spend any big money on myself for my birthday. However, that has changed. And we're going to talk about why. When I decided to start this channel, I did not do any research on cameras to buy because I had already decided what camera I was going to get. The Sony ZV-1F is all I had heard about for months on TikTok. How good it was, how easy it was to use, um, how affordable it was. So when I made the decision like, okay, I'm going to do this YouTube, YouTube thing again, I knew I was going to buy that camera. And a big part of the reason why I chose that camera over any other camera was the price. Cameras are really expensive. At the time I was looking at it, it was 400, 500 by the time I bought it. And I wanted to make sure that I was going to really do this. This is the third time I've done YouTube. I will do it for a couple months and then get distracted or get too busy or get uninterested. And so I'm like, I don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on a camera that I'm not going to use. And I'm like, okay, $500. Now that that's not a lot of money, but like 
I have 30 days to return it. It's a very popular camera. Maybe there's some resale value to it. It's gonna be fine. So I went with that camera. And honestly, the experience was pretty anticlimactic and that probably should have been a sign, but I was really excited about it. And I was like, I'm gonna get so much content because a big part of my goal with this channel is to expand the brand I've already built on TikTok to include lifestyle content. I started off my TikTok with lifestyle content, but now the only type of content my followers engage with is me just talking to them. So much more to me that I wanna share. So vlogging is a great way for me to do that. And I thought, well, if my audience on TikTok is interested, maybe I can build a new audience on YouTube that will be, right? Best of both worlds. So this camera is going to help me do that, except for it didn't, okay? Because every time I try to vlog, like I filmed my entire move, I filmed me unpacking my apartment, I filmed me decorating my apartment, I filmed my weekends and this and that, I cannot use the footage. I mean, the lighting's always off, the camera's never focused, um, the quality's not that great. It just always looks like trash every single time. Okay, maybe you just don't know how to use a camera. Maybe you just don't know the right settings. So I do all this research on like what settings I should use for vlogging, what settings I should use for this, but it was just the same story every single time. And even with the other type of videos that I film with me just like talking to the camera, there has been many times I filmed and have not been able to use the footage because the lighting was really off. And then last week when I got my hair cut, I had planned to vlog the entire experience so I could share it with y'all, which I still did because I filmed some stuff on my camera, but my my, my phone, but I planned to film on my camera, my Sony. So I had charged my batteries the night before and that afternoon after work when I was heading to my appointment, I cleaned out my SD card to make sure I had space, checked it, looked great, put the camera in my bag, went to my appointment. I told my hairdresser, I said, hey, when you finish washing my hair, well, after you blow dry my hair, I'm gonna start filming. Um, and she's like, cool, sounds good. Pull out my camera to film, won't turn on. It seems to be that the power button has jammed because it's pushed lower than it should be compared to whatever that button is next to it. I don't know what that button does because again, I don't know the camera. Clearly, the camera is jammed, it's broken, whatever it is. And so I end up just filming on my phone, but I'm like, okay, I need to go get this fixed because I had planned to film the video that I posted about that day, that day. Call Sony, and of course he's like, turn it off, turn it on charge up the battery, leave it for four hours, come back to it. I'm like, sir, I'm telling you, it is not a battery thing. It is definitely the power button. There is something that's not functioning the power button. It's jammed. There's something going on. He's like, okay, I get it. You are covered with our warranty program. So you can send it back to us. And it takes us like maybe seven to 10 days to look at it and possibly fix it if we can fix it. So I'm like, okay, that's great. But like, what am I supposed to do in terms of filming content? Because the thing about me is, if I lose my stride in something, if I lose interest in something, if I get distracted from something, I will not come back around to it. I have to be full throttle at all times and give it all my energy to be consistent. And I feel like I have just hit my stride with filming, okay? With, even with all the issues I just listed, I was enjoying the content I was creating. I, was, I had all these ideas of different videos I could make. I was dedicating my weekends to filming and editing and having it published and pushed out by Sundays, right? So I'm like, I cannot lose my stride with this or I will not come back to it. So I hit up my best friend, Ivory Lynn, who's also a YouTube content creator on here um, because I know that she had an extra camera. I'm like, hey girl, I'm like, can I use your old camera? Because I'm telling her the situation. She's like, yeah, of course, like just come by and get it. No problem. I only use it when I'm doing YouTube and to start at the same time. Like it's not my main camera it's yours to use until your camera gets fixed. I said, perfect. I go get her camera. I film that video and I'm gonna drop up comparison right here. Do you see the difference in the quality? What life have I been living with my Sony camera? Because it's not this. So after I edited that video, I knew that I wanted that, this camera, which, is, which I'm still using right now because my camera is with Sony. I'm like, I want this camera. So I went today and picked up my camera. There she is, isn't she a beauty? She's a beauty. And I haven't opened it, um, so I will open it with you guys. I literally got the exact same camera that my best friend has, so I think this version might be a little bit more recent than the one that she has that I'm filming on because I think she's had hers for a couple of years. This is the Sony ZV-1 
20.1 camera. And here is the camera. Look at her. She's a beaut. So let me put a battery in here so I can make sure it retracts because that's I really feel like the reason why my camera quality the camera that I have isn't as great and it's I feel like it's because the lens doesn't retract and so the focus isn't as great ah look at her I feel like I had to see it retracting but like look it's me looking at me I'm so excited I'm so excited for her I'm so excited and it's really in great condition let me bring it closer like it looks brand new there's really no wear and tear on this at all no wear and tear I'm very excited also i want to add that the reason why i decided to just pull the trigger on buying this camera was because when i looked on ebay for the camera there were so many listings of the camera that i already have which tells me that there's no real resale value in it. So if I were to wait for somebody to send me back the camera and then try to resell that camera to then buy this camera, it could have taken months, maybe a year, if that. And I knew that I just like could not go back to using that camera after seeing quality like this. Like I've been able to vlog this weekend because the quality of this camera is so good. It's not my apartment that's the issue. It's not the lighting, it was the camera. I think you have to get a lens that zooms. I, how, I didn't know that six months ago, but I know it now. So my plan instead, when I get my camera back from Sony, I will probably list it anyways, just at a loss. I paid 500 for the camera. A lot of people were listing it for 400, 350. I think I might only list it for like 250, 275 because I'm not gonna use it. Like I might use it for TikTok, maybe, probably not. So it's just kind of like, just sell it, make somewhat of a profit for it, put that money back into my savings account, call it a day. Um, and so since I wasn't planning to buy this camera, I am gonna treat it as a birthday present to myself um, and also a commitment to myself to do so much more with this YouTube channel. Um, I finally hit 50 subscribers, so hey y'all, I'm so excited. I've gotten a lot of really good feedback about my videos. People have been commenting, liking, and sharing it. So like, I feel, I feel, I feel good about this. so i just finished filming a youtube video i don't know if i'm gonna post or not i'm gonna have to like watch it back and edit it to see if the conversation flows because it's like a chat with batty where i'm talking about centering re centering relationships in your social media content because it's something i relate to but i just i just hope the conversation flows because it's different when i'm like talking to someone else and just talking to a camera but i did want to show you guys really quickly what i got from the farmer's market i got some chorizo 
because I saw this recipe on TikTok where you kind of spread this on a tortilla and fry it with an egg and avocado for breakfast. And I really want to try that. So I got that. And I got some spare ribs. I'm a little nervous about cooking these because it's the spare ribs that have like, like a lot of fat in them. Um, and this is actually kind of expensive. This was definitely not cheaper than the grocery store. I don't think I'll ever buy this again, but it is like fresh from like, it's from a farm. So I know it's going to be fire. So I'm gonna try to cook that this week. And I got some produce. I didn't get a ton because I still have some left from when I went two weeks ago, because again, I've been storing them in glass containers. So they, they have not gone bad, but I did need to re up on some stuff. So I got some more peppers i love peppers i cook with peppers every single meal peppers and onions and i had got another onion last time i went so i didn't need another one of those um but aren't these peppers so pretty they're so pretty and they're so good so what i like to do with the produce is cut it up and store it and i just basically use it throughout the week uh i also got these mini brioche buns from one of the bakeries out there and these are so freaking good they're so small so they're perfect for like breakfast or if you just want a snack with like some jam and some cheese and some meat like it's great and it's not too heavy um so i got two of those i'm gonna freeze one and then eat off of the other one throughout the week because i won't get through both packs this week obviously um i also got some sweet potatoes just because they looked good and then i got Another thing of plums, I absolutely love these little baby plums that they have. They are the perfect size because they're so small. I'll eat like three or four at a time and I can just eat them throughout the day and it doesn't make me too full. And it's a really good like sweet treat. So like this past week for dessert, I've been having cut up plums versus like actual dessert. And then the last thing I got was an apple. No, that's not an apple. Screaming, it's another pepper an apple um because i put these on my salad and i'm like i think i have half an apple left so i got another one just in case i run. all right you guys i am about to wrap this vlog up but i did just get another package from fashion nova i know i know i just love to shop so much and i'm gonna just show y'all what i got really quickly i went on there to look for lingerie for my man and of course they were having a sale so i just couldn't help myself but grab a few things but i actually like almost everything i got so let me show you guys um first thing i got are these cute little shorts i'm obsessed with the girl core trend and i've been trying to find ways that i could do it just a little bit more grungier but i haven't been able to find a style of shorts like this that could fit me like everything i've ordered has always been too small i've had this in the back um but these are a extra large and they fit me so perfectly and they are so cute and i also like that they're black and white because that's definitely more of my style than like the red or white or the green or white that you usually see and i think i'm gonna wear these to brunch tomorrow with my sambas and like a cute little like crop t-shirt or a graphic tee or something like that something chill is what i'm thinking because the friends that i'm going with tomorrow they don't wear heels so i don't want to be the only person in heels and i feel like we might like hang out a little bit after so it'll be good to be mobile or with my asics i'm gonna try to put outfits together after this but i got those and i think these were like ten dollars and then another girl core type of style i got this like little flared plaid skirt but this is definitely more like a halloween costume or even a schoolgirl costume for laundry because my whole ass was out and i cannot wear this i could fit it i was able to zip it up and it's a it's extra large too yeah but my whole ass was out i don't even have a butt like that it's just too short like i just don't know where i could wear this where it would actually be appropriate so i'm not gonna keep that and then i got some outfit options to wear on my birthday y'all know i'm trying to redefine my work style so i've been shopping a lot for work clothes and i was just like well if i'm gonna go to work on my birthday i should be cute originally i was gonna take my birthday off from work but i just have a whole bunch of meetings that i cannot miss we have national meeting coming up literally next saturday and then i'm doing an event at the end of national meeting and so a lot of those meetings that are happening on my birthday are for just kind of finalizing plans for that so i don't want to miss it i'm going to take the next day off but since i am going to office i want to be extra cute so i got two options and these were buy one get one free so it was worth it and i like both of them so the first one i knew i was gonna like because it's very similar to what i wore for my graduation announcement 
So it's these like black and white plaid cargo work pants. Um, and they have like a very stretchy waist, so they're extremely comfortable. And then it has a matching vest. I'm obsessed with this style. I just, it's been harder for me to find vests that actually fit over my chest because I am heavy. But then I also got another option, which is these gray cargo work pants. So you have the pocket on the side, um, these button in the front, but they're like high waisted so that you can just like pull them up. And it has this matching halter top that buttons in the front, like all the way up the front. And let me tell you guys, I, when I was trying this on, I put it with a white tank top and it is so freaking cute. I tucked it in because this is a little bit too big on me because again, it's a one X, but the reason why I get one X's and not extra large is because the one X will fit me in the waist and just be big everywhere else. And I'm fine with that because I'm, my plan is to take all of these work pants that I bought to the dry cleans. I just haven't done it and get them altered to be not as long, but I like the fit of it. I like, I don't want my work pants to feel like it's suffocating me. I want to be able to sit down and like still be able to breathe. I think I'm gonna wear the, this gray outfit for my birthday. I think it's just so fire with a little tank top underneath. It's such a vibe and I can wear my sambas with it. Like y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think, but I definitely think I'm gonna go with the gray. But okay, y'all, that is my vlog for this week. Let me know what y'all think. I've been wanting to do a vlog for so long. I finally have a camera that allows me to do it in a quality way. Let me know how y'all feel about what I put together. I'm doing a lot of traveling coming up. I want to vlog all of it, but only if y'all like it. If y'all don't like the vlogs, I'm not going to do them. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next time.